Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This video is all about my little journey doing Chloe Ting's two week shred program. I was introduced to her videos just by watching like other people's results by doing this program. And I was like blown away by the fact that everyone just looks amazing after doing it. And I was like, okay, we're in quarantine. I have nothing else better to do. I have all the time in the world. I was like, I'm gonna get out of bed and start this program. I just wanted to do this because I was kind of like lacking with my body confidence and like just as a person in general. For me, this took a lot of motivation <laughs> because if you guys know, I did all sorts cheerleading um, for eight years and I finally quit about a year ago. I cannot recall the last time that I worked out. Um, I think it was my last year competition. So that was in like 2019 of April. <laughs> So I just told myself if I want to do something about it and like build my confidence back up This is a way to start like I'm not trying to change myself or like do any of that I'm just trying to feel better as a person work on my body make healthier choices And I was like this is a great way to start so thanks to Chloe Ting for her program So here's my journey. hope you guys enjoy the results are at the end and yeah I'll see you guys at the end and it is day one. This is a totally different day I actually am editing the video right now because I finished. I realized that I did not say a single word on day one. I just got right into the workout with like even showing you guys like what my body looked like before starting the program. And I also measured my tummy just to know exact measurements so I could compare before and after. So here are some pictures of what I look like before, well on day one. So for my measurements, I measured twice. So I measured like the upper part of my stomach and also the lower part of my stomach. The upper part of my stomach was 26 centimeters and then the lower part of my stomach was 33 centimeters. I apologize about not explaining any of that at the beginning of the video, so. shape. I'm okay. I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it. Hi everyone. It is day six and I did not work out yesterday because I was vacation day. So an update on what my tummy looks like. So I'm not flexing or anything. That's what it looks like on the side. There has been a big change since day one to day six, and it's kind of crazy. I'm feeling more motivated. I'm very happy. Like, I'm so excited to start seeing results, and I don't know, I just feel really good lately. So yeah, this is what my stomach looks like. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm very happy with my body right now. I don't know, it just looks really good. Let's get to business. on day 11 right now. Yeah, I am changed. I have my tennis shoes on. I have lollipop socks on. <laughs> I only have two videos today for day 11, so therefore it's only going to be a 25 minute workout. <laughs> All right, so I just finished the workout. I am sweating and I feel really, really gross. Hi everyone, um, it is day 12, very close to the end. And as you can tell, it is dark. Um, I'm not too very fond of doing exercises at night. I find them most effective when I do them in the morning where I'm not bloated and like full of food. Yeah, I'm not very motivated right now. Um, I was actually going to skip day 12, which I feel really bad about because I've came so far. I'm like so close to day 14, so that is why I'm doing it right now. I did not want to skip today, so that is why we're here at 10 o'clock doing exercises. So yeah, we're gonna get started. 
So here's what my body looks like. This is me not flexing in the front, and then this is me not flexing on the side. As you can tell, I look like I'm pregnant. <laughs> um, I get bloated very fast and very easily, and this is why I do not like to work out at night because I'm working out with this full stomach. I don't really see any results from day one to now, so I guess we'll see how, what happens in the morning. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. I just finished the workout, but I definitely feel better <laughs> about myself um, now that I know that I completed it and wasn't gonna skip today. I've seen an improvement with my stamina and like my endurance. I don't know about results yet. <laughs> Um, there has been a big change for sure, but after like looking in the mirror today, I don't really know <laughs> uh, But we'll see so I'll show you guys in the morning So I'll see you all in the morning with my morning body instead of my bloated body Okay, it's so the next morning. I have not eaten anything. I haven't even ate breakfast yet So this is what my stomach looks like in the morning. It looks better, right? I'm not as bloated Hi everyone, guess what day it is? We made it! <laughs> it's day 14. I'm like so proud of myself that I actually stuck with it because I'm not the one to um, work out, like enjoy working out or any of the sort. I just like to sit in my bed, but I actually motivated myself. I never gave up. I did all the days, so I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> but anyways, we are here to show you guys the results since it is the last day. Um, I'm gonna share measurements. I did not track my weight, therefore we will not know if I did lose weight. If I did, I'm proud of myself. If I and I'm still proud. Everybody type is different. Um, I just know that I'm more toned than I've ever been, especially my stomach, and I feel a lot better as a person and less bloated, even though in the last clip I was like really mad about it. Um, you know what? It's okay. So we're gonna measure my stomach and I'm gonna show you guys what my tummy looks like. So here is my stomach on the last day. We is good. <laughs> I'm so happy. So look at that. Um, I will show you guys pictures of before and after, but I just wanted to film it in person. Not really in person, but on camera instead of like showing it through pictures, but I'll show both. So now we're going to measure. So um, I measured like two different parts of my tummy. So I measured up here. This was 26 inches and then the lower part of my stomach was 33. This is my measurement tapey thing. Oh, it's right here. <laughs> I haven't measured myself since the first day, so. Oh, wow. You're kidding. We are 29 and a half. <laughs> Whoa there. So we lost a total of, oh God, I'm, I suck at math. There's three and a half centimeters, right? Yeah. Dang, that's good. <laughs> and then the top part of my tummy is 26. So we did not lose any at top, but we did lose a lot at the bottom. So I said I was gonna show you guys photos from day one to day 14. So here's what before and after looks like from the front. And then a before and after from the side. So I mean, it's not drastic or anything. Like I can't even tell you if I lost weight or anything. I mean, that's not really what was important to me. I was just kind of wanting to tone my stomach and make it look better than it ever has, but it's a big enough change for me to feel good about myself. I'm happy with the outcome. Two weeks is not a lot of time. Usually like if you want to reach like your maximum goal of like what you want your body to look like, it usually takes a month, two months. So in a two week period, I'm very happy with the results. So I am really proud of myself because like I said, I usually don't commit to these type of things. I plan on continuing working out every day. I think I'm gonna do another program, um, probably like the flat tummy one, or I think I'm gonna do the hourglass one. And I think there's one for your arms. I definitely wanna tone my arms a lot more because I have a lot of baby fat under the armpits. So I think I wanna work on that. It took a lot of guts to post this video and I plan on posting it even though I'm like still filming it because being an influencer on social media, everyone is perceived 
to be perfect every day. For like example, I'm always in the public eye and this goes for any influencer on social media. Like you're supposed to be perceived as perfect, like the perfect body, the perfect hair, the perfect eyes, your perfect clothing that you wear. So like knowing that my body wasn't perfect and I'm showing like the real me and like what I was struggling with takes a lot because a lot of people can take that the wrong way. I always feel pressured to be like the fake version of me, like pretend that like I'm not struggling with body confidence or like I'm not struggling with just me in general and like all my insecurities and my flaws. So like putting this out there is like, oh, it's a little scary because you don't really show, a lot of people don't really show this real side of like what they go through like behind camera or a phone. So yeah. <laughs> also the fact that I'm struggling with body confidence and like putting my body out there like visibly and like showing you like my measurements and all that stuff. Like it's a little scary and overwhelming, but all I'm doing is putting this out there to inspire others because if you are in the same boat as me, just to let you know you're not alone and anybody in this world can go through something like us. Like everyone's gonna have their own flaws and everyone is gonna have insecurities. But if you don't, I'm very happy for you. It's just for us, we just have to let time take its place. I don't really know. <laughs> I was trying to think of a cool way to say that and that's what I'm doing. I'm slowly building up my confidence again. But yeah, this is just supposed to be motivational and I hope that one day we all can love ourselves so much. I think that's just my goal. Like my main goal is just to learn how to love myself and I'm just starting with like working out, eating healthier, um, just changing my lifestyle in general. I don't really, I don't really know what else to say. I kind of got lost in like my thoughts and like what I was saying, it was just like coming out and I don't really know what else to say besides the fact that it worked. That's all you had to say. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see you all back next week with more videos. Bye guys.